presented by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this. All right, 7.42 KNEB. We are all set for news extra for this Tuesday. And uh, our program today is brought to you by First State Bank. And uh, here's Kevin. Thank you, Steve, and good morning, everyone. And our guest today is Kathy Kropensky from Keep Scott's Bluff Gearing Beautiful. And uh, she's going to talk about a number of the things, but uh, the number <laughs> one item on the agenda today is what to do with that Christmas tree, the live Christmas tree that's sitting in the living room and all the gifts have been opened and, and it's sitting yes. there with the lights on and a lot of people yes. keep it on for, keep the Christmas tree for a while till New Year's or thereabouts. A lot of folks do, which is fine. You know, good. some but people don't, they get rid of it they right get away. Rid of it right away. So that's part of the reason why we have you here for those people that are getting rid of it here that's in the right. next couple of days. Well, you know, it's another one of those programs that's really so important. And it always sort of makes me, well, it does make me giggle and laugh. And I think about um, how many people actually put their Christmas tree out there and they don't undecorate it. Can you believe it? I, it's well, just, I know that. I've, I, I've, I've seen, seen it. it. I've I seen know. it. I know. So be sure if you're going to recycle that Christmas tree. I can't believe they don't undecorate please it Please undecorate it because it doesn't <laughs> go through the mulcher. It just yeah. doesn't work with the tinsel and the bulbs on it. So make sure you're undecorated. But yes, the program will be starting over uh, the first week in January. Scott's Bluff will start collecting them, put them by your dumpster. If you don't have a dumpster, you can put them out by the curb, but preferably by the dumpster and in gearing also. And you know, it's, I mean, what else are you gonna do with that Christmas tree? make sure it gets out there so they can pick it up. Yeah. Um, you know, it's good for the community. They make mulch out of it. It goes into the parks and, and the uh, cemeteries and different places um, around the community it's used, which is a good thing. You know, of course, we all want that spring to come up great and look beautiful with those spring flowers. But if you do not have a place to put your Christmas tree and you're not in the city limits of Scottsdale for Gearing, you can still bring your Christmas tree to the zoo. And there are signs back there. You drive into the entrance, you follow the signs, and there's a drop-off. So if you want to haul your own Christmas tree, you can do that too. So that's open right now. So go we'll do it. All Good right. thing for the for the community. You know, we're seeing less and less, Kevin, of the real trees. Unfortunately, I love the real tree. I love the smell. But, of course, a lot of people have gone to the um, artificial. And no, do not put your artificial Christmas tree out there. Please. <laughs> Again, it doesn't... Steve and I were talking about it, that earlier. It just doesn't go through the process well. Uh, I mean, it really screws up the mulch. So um, be careful with that. But make yeah. sure you recycle it and undecorate yeah. it, please. Yeah. Well, there are fewer live trees out there. I know uh, Scott's Bluff Kiwanis Club, we did rather well selling. So. Good live trees this year. I think in some ways maybe they're even coming back a little bit. A little bit, maybe. A little bit. I, I hope so. But I think we, we kind of know the number anymore. I think Jeff does a good job, Jeff Freifschneider. Uh -huh, sure. That runs our... Of estimating about of how estimating many. estimating about how many right. we need every year. Right. Yeah, it's still a lot of fun. Um, I, I was back in Yankton, South Dakota with my mom and we I always go back to decorate her tree for her. And some of those bulbs, I think that's the, the, the best fun of the Christmas tree is whether it's artificial or real is when you take out those old bulbs that have been in the family for years and years and years and the stories that go behind them. I mean, I just think that's so neat. So anyway, I like Christmas. Yeah, we do too. Yeah. And when we decorate ours, we have little keepsakes from yes. where we go. Yes. And that's what we put on our tree. I have pictures of the kids like what they made in kindergarten. Yep. You know, and yep. made into ornaments and that type of thing. Yeah, so that's what we do. My, my mom, and she's 86, and she had ornaments that were given to her at their wedding and their first Christmas that they put on time payments um, to buy them for their first Christmas tree. Yeah. Isn't that neat? That's pretty neat. I know. That was really neat. That, that really brought me into the Christmas spirit. Yeah. So. All right. We'll talk more with Kathy right after this. Talk memberships. Giving up foods, gifts, and toys, and coats, okay. and cash donations and you can for beg. our <laughs> annual gift of love. Clean. Because there are so many schools, organizations, okay, businesses, churches, families, and individuals who have contributed. Yeah, it's impossible to thank each Don't one of you. Yeah, you do Please accept comes. this thank you and know that many in the panel are filling your spirit of love and sharing. On behalf of our board members, officers, and staff, thank we you win for awards. trusting us for over we 70 just can't get years. Money. <laughs> and we wish you a blessed <laughs> holiday season. <clears throat> All right, we are back on uh, News Extra, and uh, we're talking to Kathy Kropensky with Keep Scott's Bluff Gearing Beautiful. 
And uh, it is that time of year where you're, I guess, first of all, we should explain the kind of the process for uh, getting your funding. You're going to learn about uh, grants, what? Uh, January. January 5th. 5th. Yes, so we're that's excited. Up fairly soon. Huh? Yes, I can hardly wait. Um, you know, it always used to be a little earlier than this, and it's been postponed over the years. But actually, our program starts over January 1. So it's always hard to know how much money you're going to have for the next year to start, to start to plan. So we do have our fingers crossed on that one, Kevin. But we're still into membership, and that's something that, you know, I, I know everyone probably has heard this on the radio before. I've been here before talking about it. It's been in the newspaper, and I want to assure you all, Keith's Gospel of Gary and Beautiful isn't going to go away. We will still be here. We've been here for 31 years. You know, the education that we do is so important. We educate thousands of kids and people during the year on litter prevention, recycling, source reduction. But you know over the years we've really expanded our program. Uh, you know, we do a lot of collections now we never used to do, from Recycle Your Cycles to uh, all the electronics and the pharmaceuticals. And those are the programs that are in dire. And I, I don't know, I, I guess I'm a Pollyanna. Last year I thought even though we were $35,000 down in our grants, I could make it work. Well. Yes, we had a couple fundraisers, and yes, we collected, you know, about $7,000, but you take seven from 35, everyone can do the math, that's yes. what we're behind. Yeah. So, if we're going to do those programs this year, we have to have the match. You know, the state is not going to support us on these programs if I cannot show the community match. And oh, Kevin, I hate to give up, especially the pharmaceutical. I mean, I am so proud of that darn program. That's the one that costs uh, a lot of money, doesn't it? About because you got to you can, because you got to bring uh, trucks in to take right. the pharmaceuticals away. They and have to trans, you know, and, transfer uh, them. Yeah, um, and take them down to uh, Kimball and all that. Well, actually, thing. they don't go to Kimball. They do don't know, go to Kimball. No, do you know the incinerators only incinerate certain things at Clean Harbor's sites? Ours go all the way out uh, west. They go all the way to Seattle. Really? It? Yep. That's where our pharmaceuticals well, Your transportation are. costs would be a lot less if they just took them to Kimball. <laughs> That's what I said, too. <laughs> Could we have a burn in the backyard? <laughs> but the whole purpose of this program, like I've tried to tell everyone, is to do it properly from the beginning. We don't want it in our air, do we? We don't want it in our water. We don't want to drink it. We don't want to see it landfilled. Eventually, it will get in the leachate. It will go into our river, which means it will go into our drinking water. You know, I've said it over and over, but every day... We are all drinking antibiotics and hormones every single day. They can't get it out of our water. So, you know, I'm so proud of that one, and I hate to give it up. I mean, we collected a ton of stuff last year. Lincoln collected 750 pounds. Now, how do you think that happens, Kevin? Well, I can tell you. education, right? Right. Very good. Why have you trained? <laughs> it's, the it's the education. And, you know, people will do the right thing if we give them opportunities. It's just like with the electronics. So if you are listening this morning and you still have anything left from Santa and you still want to be Santa, oh, please send us a donation or a membership. We yep. start out as corporate, 325 We go down to um, the individual at 25 um, Students, senior citizen are 15 We are tax deductible. That's a great thing. You still have time. Yep. Uh, you family's can send, 35 Yep, family's 35 You can send those to 615 South Beltline Highway West in Scotts Bluff. You can call me 632-4649. All right, very good. We'll do that. Am I all done hopefully, already? Hopefully, people will uh, contribute and help you get that match. And uh, I would hope that uh, the grants would come in like they're supposed to. Me too, because it was really a, a bummer last year. Yeah. We've had two down, down years, but you know it's been a down. It's everybody. been rough. It's been rough. That's kind and of the way the world is right now. It is, and we'll work our way through. Yeah. But I just hate to give up the programs that have been so successful. I hate the community to lose them, and um, it's important. But yeah. But thank you again, Kevin, for you having bet. me. I love to talk. That's right. And mulch <laughs> that tree. Yes, mulch that tree, please. All right. And we'll start over with our January programs, and you'll be the first to know. All right. Very okay. good. Thanks for coming in. Yes. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. All right, back to you, Steve.